yes, they uh, came out and presented Collateral 360 to us and offered uh, to migrate us at no cost from RIMS to that system. Um, but uh, one reason I didn't really uh, latch onto that idea is it's it's still RIMS. Now that I know more about Uconnect, uh, RIMS is loan-centric. Uh, everything is based on the loan, whereas Uconnect is property-centric. So it, it's great because as a property changes, uh, Uconnect will track that over time. You know, at one point it might be uh, one improved building of 5,000 square feet, and then later in the life, um, and you see that maybe the appraisal jumped in value looking at the history of things, but you can tell that, oh, well, that's because at the time of that appraisal that's higher, it's now two buildings totaling right. 8,000 square feet. So you could never do anything like that in RIMS. Uh, you, you would have to know that there was a prior loan related to that property, and then you'd have to open it up and find all that information to discover it like an investigator whereas Uconnect is just going to show you uh, the history of that property and how it's changed physically over time, how the valuations have changed. Every time there's a new assignment, it just tacks on to the history of that property. So I would mm -hmm. say it's the property-centric aspect of Uconnect, which really was um, one reason uh, you know, that we, we really wanted to change. And and really what it came down to at the end of the day uh, uh, is customer service. I needed to feel like we were going to be taken care of. Um, and and while a couple of them, I felt like that. A couple of them, I really didn't feel like that. I didn't feel like we were going to be a priority. And and we needed to feel, not that I feel like we're special and we needed to, you know, be the number one bank that someone was, that, that we were on, but, but I did need to feel like we were um, important to the, to the company and that um, uh, from that aspect we, we, we narrowed it down further um, and then um, you know for us the, the Uconnect was the right choice um, we feel like we got you know a, a platform here that we can we can we can do multiple things with we've got you know environmental on it we've got um, uh, residential consumer orders and commercial orders uh, we've got a team that that uh, is responsive to us and, and listens uh, you know, Brenda has listened many, many times to me telling her what I really, what my dreams are of, of how I want this department to run. And um, she's, she's very receptive to my ideas and also uh, very informative as she, as she has from her experiences of what she felt like, uh, what I'm going to say is, is good and bad. So, you know, it's, it's, um, it's been a good relationship so far. Of course, I thought that you connect was more cost effective and two, with RIMS, if we needed modifications, we were a small fish in a very big pond. And what we had got feedback we had gotten was that they're not, res they're not responsive. And, um, you know, our, our institution may be a little bit different than others. And we felt that the flexibility that you connect provided us um, was a benefit that we felt very strongly about. I, I don't know if it, I don't know if it was really attributed to maybe their updates uh, and, and enhancements to their platform really kind of took us back a little bit. Some of the functionality was different. Um, it wasn't quite as user friendly. Um, and, you know, customer service was really a big issue. Uh, yeah. You know, you, you could bring up some some uh, problems that you have or issues you've come across. And the, the, the stock answer was always, well, you know, we'll look into it or sometimes flat out. We just can't do that. You know, we can't change those things. Um, so that's kind of the nice thing about Uconnect is it's highly customizable. And, you know, there's times I've talked to Barbara and she's making changes in real time as I'm talking to yeah. her. Saying, hey, I have a couple of things. She's, hang on a second, and okay, they're done. You know, where, I, I don't know if you can really get that anywhere. Um, mm -hmm. We weren't completely satisfied with RIMS, and one of our 
competitor banks had already went with 360 and they, they actually received a phone call shortly after they went live mm -hmm. saying that if you had any if you had any thought of going with 360 you need to reconsider it and at that point we just put everything on hold and went with what with you connect we we were already leaning towards you to begin with but mm -hmm. you know getting a call from, a yeah getting a call from a competitor um warning you to, to us spoke volumes it's customer service we mm -hmm. found your customer service and the way brenda barbara and sunda um operate and interact not only with themselves but with you to be what made this company such a winner and why we wanted to develop our software through you at the time when we made the decision to change obviously we were going through a lot of difficulties uh with the previous system that we had a lot of uh, let me call them backroom issues, things that weren't getting resolved as quickly as we would have liked them to get resolved. So, uh, and then knowing what the uh, the ownership was and the changes that that company was going through led us to uh, look at what changes we could make internally with our systems as well. So that's what prompted us to make the move. And um, Fifth Third is very organized in terms of how they handle vendors, external vendors especially. Mm -hmm. There is an entire business process that we needed to go through. So it wasn't just me looking at potential software providers. It was our whole sourcing team and vendor teams uh, looking at what controls and things that needed to be looked at. So. It was way beyond my decision, although I was the one instrumental in making that change happen. I was not the sole um, person making the decision on who we would go to. Uh, mm -hmm. And really, um, I, I had my whole team involved. As, as you're aware, I, I oversaw uh, both commercial and residential appraisal in our environmental area plus an admin area that oversaw all of the responsibilities in those major groups. So I let those managers be the ones that were involved in the selection process. And it was really their decision to go with RealWired over the other uh, vendors that we talked to.